Alright, so in this video we're going to look at calculating velocity. Uh, I'll have another video on doing acceleration. Uh, you can check it out. Uh, but calculating velocity when you're given parametric equations. Alright, so to calculate the velocity, it's the, the velocity is the square root of v sub x squared plus v sub y squared. And the tangent, the, the direction, Okay, the direction angle is tangent theta sub v is equal to v sub y over v sub x. Now, v sub x is the derivative of x with respect to t, and v sub y is the derivative of y with respect to t. So, let's take a look at our example. And it says, if the horizontal distance x that an object has moved is given by these parametric equations, x is equal to 3t squared and the vertical distance y is given by y equals 1 minus t squared find the magnitude and direction of the velocity when t is equal to 2. Alright so first let's go ahead and calculate well let me write the equations down I've got x is equal to 3t squared so v sub x, well, that's the derivative of x with respect to t. All right, so this would be 6t. And then I need to calculate v sub y. Okay, so v sub y is equal to the derivative of y with respect to t. And so that's just going to be negative 2t. Now, we want to calculate the magnitude and direction when t is equal to 2. So we will evaluate the derivative of x with respect to t at 2. So that's 6 times 2, that gives us 12, and then v sub y evaluated at 2 is negative 2 times 2, which gives us negative 4. We just take the t equal 2 and plug it into the derivatives here. Alright, so here's v sub x and here's v sub y. So the velocity, remember, is the square root of v sub x squared plus v sub y squared. And so that's going to give us the square root of 144 plus 16. Alright, so that gives us the square root of 160 and the square root of 160 uh, that's about 12 point we'll round it to one decimal 12.6 and it doesn't give us any units but <clears throat> let's just say that it was measured in meters and the time was in seconds so that would be meters per second Okay. or if you know they gave it to you in miles and hours that would be miles per hour okay all right so there's the there's your velocity now let's calculate the direction okay so the direction that is the tangent of theta sub v is equal to v sub y, which is negative 4, over v sub x, which is 12. So that gives us tangent theta sub v is equal to negative 1 third. All right, now we need to get the angle. So if we plot this, okay, there's v sub x there's v sub y. So if we plot 12, negative 4, 12, negative 4, we can see that we're here in the fourth quadrant. Okay, We don't care exactly where the point is, we just want to know which quadrant it's in. So here is our angle theta sub v. All right. So what we have here is 
we'll call this theta with a subscript r for our reference angle. So to find our reference angle, we have tangent theta sub r. So to find your reference angle, you have to set it equal to the positive. So that equals positive one third. So theta sub r, so if we do the inverse tangent, so if we do the inverse tangent of one third, that gives us 18 point, and I'll round it to one decimal, 18.4, 18.4 degrees. So now we can go and find our theta, so theta sub v, well that's going to be 360 minus our reference angle which will give us this, so that's minus 18.4 degrees. So 360 minus 18.4, that will give us theta sub v is equal to 341.6 degrees. So there's your direction and here's your magnitude. Okay, And yeah, you know, if you wanted to, you could have your theta sub v equal to negative 18.4 degrees. That would be acceptable also. Okay. I just I just like to go ahead and give the positive angle but this would be correct also alright so you know I'm gonna do one on acceleration check it out it's a separate video uh, hope the video helped give me a like share and subscribe and thanks for watching